uh, matrix A is given, uh, we need to find the basis of the row space of matrix A, basis of the row space of matrix of A transposed, um, basis of the null space of matrix A, and basis of the null space of A transposed. Well, so um, let's look at matrix A and let's start by finding its reduced row echelon form. So the reduced row echelon form of matrix A, so R, R, E, G, E, F of A is 1, O, negative 2, O, 1, 1. Since, since uh, uh, the first row and the second row form a basis for the row space of matrix A, we have that 1, O, negative 2 transposed and O, 1, 1 transposed, transposed form a basis for row space of A transposed. Well, uh, when X belongs to the null space of A, from the reduced row echelon form of matrix A, we get that X1 minus 2X3 equals 0, which means that X1 equals 2X3. We also get that X1 plus X3 equals 0, so X1 equals negative 1X3. Um, we will set x3 equals some a, so x3 equals a. Uh, then uh, the null space of a consists of all the vectors of the form a times 2, negative 1, 1, transposed. So the um, so null space of a consists of... So that means that 2 negative 1 1 transposed is a basis of null space of a well uh, now a transposed equals 1 3 1 2 4 0 the reduced row echelon form of a transposed is 1 0 0 1 0 0 since uh, the first two rows form the basis for the row space of matrix A transposed, we have that 1, O transposed and O1 transposed form a basis, basis for row space of A. Uh, then, if X belongs to the null space of A transposed, uh, from the reduced row echelon form of matrix A transposed, we have that x1 equals 0, x2 equals 0. Um, so that means that the null space of A transposed equals 0. So there is no basis. No basis in this case.